Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's uh, have a look on how to rig the fish model in Maya. So I have done texturing of this model in Substance Painter and I have modeled this in Maya. So I have the videos made for it. I'll be sharing the link in the description. So right now I've got this model. Uh, it has got mesh smooth. I just want to uh, put it that way or maybe I can just remove it if uh, uh, actually I've just taken it for the sake of uh, substance painter so i'm just removing that so it's just a um, simple model so i've got these two uh, eye geometries so to start with uh, the first important thing is uh, i need to just check the uh, preference i mean the transformation values okay so i'll not uh, discuss about the sphere uh, the eyeballs right now uh, let me name this as a body geometry and this one as a left uh, eye geometry and this one has right eye geometry so uh, to start with i'm not freezing this uh, right now i'll just uh, uh, wait and see i'll just switch this to maya classic and then okay uh, the first thing first is uh, i'll freeze this uh, transformations and then i'm going to create joints for this so i want the head uh, to be controlled and then the body to be you know swinged properly so i'm going to use uh, a curve first so i'll be taking a cv curve tool okay and uh, one linear curve so i'll be just placing this uh, curve here and then i'm going to place the curve at this point so i'll be adding this uh, geometry into a layer so that i can hide it anytime i wanted so the more joints we have in the body the more flexible the model would look so i'm going to select this uh, model uh, this curve and i'm going to enable the display nerves and edit points so i'll be rebuilding this curve using the rebuild curve tool and i'm going to rebuild this with 12 number of spans so that i got this many points there once that is achieved i'll go to the rigging and then go to the skeleton and then start creating joints there okay so i'll be using a point snap i press v on the keyboard and then start clicking there and then the joints will be snapped over that curves so the joint is started from joint 1 and ends at joint 13 so I go to modify and then use this search and replace names and in search for option I'm going to choose joint and then replace with spine joint underscore. So that actually does what is that makes this a joint one joint two and so on. So this is the joint chain I've got. Okay I'll switch on the x-ray joint so that you could able to see it clearly. I can give a color to the joints color so that it's properly visible on top. I can select the hierarchy and then change the radius to 0.2 so that the joints will look smaller and now i'm going to create a head joint so i'm going to create a joint from here and then place it there okay so let me name this as head joint and then this one as head end joint okay so i'm going to select that two joints and then set the radius again to 0.2 and i'm going to make uh, this joint as a child for this now I can able to select this joint and then start moving it as I wanted. Okay. So right now I'm not uh, doing anything with the fins at this level. So I would like to just uh, rig the body uh, in terms of swim. So keeping in that mind, I'm going to select the root joint and the body and I'm going to apply smooth skin. Okay. So I'm going to choose the uh, joint hierarchy as a binding method and then just bind it. So I'm going to select uh, all these joints one after the other. And then just check how this uh, joints are going to rotate uh, and then you should be able to see you got that nice uh, control on both sides there okay that looks cool at this point i can name this uh, layers also as geometry layer and this one as joints layer okay for the convenience so i'm going to create a circle and i'm going to put that on the top view and then scale it i'm going to select uh, the vertex here and then i'm going to paint uh, move this uh, behind and then this one here so uh, nothing to do with uh, the, i mean this this uh, curve is uh, about the user interface so this curve will become the control for the fish and then i'll be creating one master control uh, below it so I'll, I'll just name it as fish uh, control i'll go to edit delete by type history modify freeze transformations 
and then i'm going to create a circle and then i'll move this below so i'll just move this here and i'm going to scale it like that okay so uh, there's a problem here that the fish is in the middle and the master control is not on the grid so i'm going to move this on the grid and i would like to see uh, certain things like i'll be selecting all the joints and uh, the curves all of them and i'm going to move it above so that the fish stays above the ground and the master control on the grid uh, where the transformations will happen properly freeze transformation delete by type history okay and uh, the root joint and the rest of the joints what we have here will have its all zero transformation so nothing to worry but this model um, is actually uh, because of joints transformation they transform I'll be selecting this edit delete by type history modify freeze transformation um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add few controls but before going into that I'll be adding IK spline handle and then take control over a lot of things here so um, I'll be hiding the geometry and the joints and you should be able to see this curve I'm going to name this as IK spine curve okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this IK spline handle and then we have this option called auto create curve. I'm going to switch that option off because uh, I'm going to use this curve. I made a tutorial on IK spline handle. You can check that link in the description. So I'll be switching off this auto create curve off and then I'm going to bring uh, this joint. So this is the root joint. I'll be clicking that first. Uh, then I'm going to click on the last joint. Then the third click will be on the IK spine. You can do it in the viewport or you can hold control and click here and that gives the IK handle there. Okay. Now I can select the IK handle. Okay. You can just select that and we got this option called twist. You can use that twist. We have advanced uh, uh, twist controls also. You got the roll option and then you got the offset option where it moves over the curve like that. Okay. If you want to use them, you can preferably use it. If not, you can just ignore them. So I've got this uh, thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a, a deformer to the curve by which the fish is going to deform now. So I'm going to select this curve. I'll be adding the IK handle into the joints layer. Now you could able to see the curve here. I'll be adding that into a layer and then give a nice fluorescent color so that you could able to see that curve. I'm going to select that curve, go to the deform, then use this nonlinear uh, deformer and I'm going to choose a sign deformer there. And I'm going to add a little bit of amplitude like that. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees uh, where the deforming is going to happen properly in this direction. Now here we got some nice options called offset. So where the fish is going to swim like that. So these options I'm going to give it in the control. So every time we don't go and search for the handle and then start animating these values. So I'll be switching the amplitude wavelength offset everything to zero and then start working on the control. So I go to the control and then add few of, of the attributes. But before going into that, just check the uh, options which you're going to use it. So we got an option called amplitude. We got an option called wavelength. We got an option called offset, which I'm going to use here. And uh, I'm going to use a custom attribute also. Uh, so uh, let me uh, actually select the control and then go to modify and then choose this option called add attribute. And this is going to add a custom attributes there. So first option I would like to add is a swim option on. Okay. Before going into that, I'm going to add uh, swim controls. Okay. And I'm going to choose a, a string, not string. Uh, enum. And I'm going to remove that. And then this one, I'm going to use this dash. And then when I add it, you get that swim controls and dashes here. Then I'm going to add attribute again. And this time I'm going to add swim. So I'm, I'm going to use a boolean option and then you should get the option called swim on swim off okay uh, then i'm going to use one more attribute called speed go to modify and choose add attribute and then i'm going to use this option called speed okay and i'm going to use a, a integer and the minimum range is one okay and maximum range is two maybe ten and default is one so what happens is I'm, I'm going to get this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 values, which are basically integers. That means I can't go for 1.5 speed there. 
you want 1.5 speed then you can maybe use a, a float number instead of an integer number so i've kept 10 different speeds there then i'm going to add the other attributes which are there here go to modify uh, and choose add attribute and i'm going to add an attribute called uh, amplitude okay and it should be a float and then it should be unlimited so i'm going to just select and not touching the minimum maximum value and then i'm going to add a wavelength okay then i'm going to add offset so these are all attributes what we have here which i can use and then start controlling them okay now um, i can generally uh, link these attributes to the control so we we have this nice window called connection editor open the connection editor and then just select this control and load on the left side so you'll have all these options on this side then i'm going to select the sign handle and press down arrow button to select the shape node and then reload on the right so that i get all these options here okay let me uh, let me right click on the outliner and then switch off show shapes and then you should be able to see the transform node and the shape node okay so whenever we select a handle uh, let's say if i just switch off the geometry and then if I select the uh, sign handle in the viewport, it only selects the handle but not the shape node. So I need to select the handle and then press down arrow to select the shape node. So I'm not going to do all that every time. Just select it, press down arrow and then you get these options. So I'm going to connect the amplitude with the amplitude, wavelength with the wavelength, offset with the offset. So these are connected now. Okay. Now what happens with that is uh, when I select the control and this offset, uh, these options work actually amplitude of 0.1 wavelength of 2 then offset of this is going to work there for us okay so let's see how i'm going to uh, apply this options um, with this also and then uh, not touching all this uh, and when i play the uh, the uh, the fish is going to automatically swim for you just you need to just hit play button and fish uh, start swimming okay right now i'm going to hide this eyes and then put it there and then I'm going to select these values to zero and I'm going to select, uh, uh, I mean, when the fish swim is off, it should do something to the sign a lot. So I'm going to choose the offset. Okay. And then go to edit and then choose expressions. Fish control offset is equals to time. Okay. So when I end that and then just create, so offset is now controlled with your playback. So I'll put a amplitude of 0.1 and then wavelength of 2 and then play it. Then you should be able to see the fish is swimming. This fish is uh, actually swimming in the negative direction. So to fix that, I go to the offset and then choose uh, the time as negative value. Okay. So once that I take, you should be able to see the fish is going to swim for you. Okay. Now I'm going to select this fish swim, uh, edit expressions. Uh, before going into that you have this option called swim copy that attribute okay fish underscore control fish control dot swim that i've copied and then here in the offset the time is going to be multiplied with the fish swim and then that will give me uh, the fish swim option off okay fish is not going to swim for you but when i put it one the fish is going to swim put it off put it on so you can uh, do that way. Okay. The next thing is uh, I need to take control over the speed also. For that, I go to the offset. And then here, I'm going to choose the speed option. Okay. Copy that. Control C. Go to the offset and then multiply that with the speed. Okay. So what happens is time is going to be multiplied by the swim. Swim is either 0 or 1. If you make the swim off, the total value becomes 0. If you... Uh, put swim on the everything will be multiplied with one which means the same value now the next thing is speed control is uh, ranging from one to ten so whatever the number is there it is going to multiply it by one if you put the value of one there if you multiply if you put the value of two the total value is multiplied by two okay so let me edit that and then when i hit play the fish is going to swim and if i put it to value of five it's going to swim uh, swim faster and way faster or slower you can put an amplitude of 0 0.5 okay and then wavelength of uh, 5 also so that's going to swim very gently and you can put an amplitude of 0 0.1 swim can be faster 
amplitude can be bigger wavelength can be smaller so you can just create a lot of variations and emotions to the fish behavior okay now i'm going to um, put this values to 1 0 0 and uh, everything is now set to default i can right click and then i can generally use uh, uh, lock and hide so that this option will be a mysterious option for you now you, you see the fish swim speed all that options are there for your control just you need to select and just make things work for you just select that put the value of 0 0.4 for the amplitude and wavelength of 2 and then fish is going to swim nicely amplitude to 1 this is what you get is thinking seriously okay Sp swim speed wavelength 5 Wavelength 1, 0 0.2 of amplitude. Wavelength 3, wavelength 2. So you should be able to see you got a lot of such options here for the fish swimming. Now we have the uh, fins there and we have uh, the mouth and gills that which are basically rigged using very simple uh, FK joints or IK joints or blend shapes. And now uh, you get more control over how this fish is going to be animated. So I'll make another video for the fins animation and then and for the mouth animation. So just check with that. Right now, this is what I've got in this video.